Hi everybody, welcome to Newton Magic. My name's Dan. Today is Shadows of Innistrad pre-release day. Uh, I'm about to go out to Workington. Uh, sorry for the long hiatus. I didn't do an Oath of the Gatewatch pre-release video because what I videoed just wasn't right. It was all blurry and, and very wrong, hence why I've never uploaded anything and I just haven't had a lot of time. So uh, yeah, today's gonna be a good one. Really looking forward to Shadows of, Shadows of Innistrad. Uh, it's apparently a really good set. I've been looking at the cards and trying it out. I've been using draft simulators online. I use mtgmirror.com. So yeah, uh, really looking forward to it. I've just got a message off Adam saying that he's ready to go. So he's uh, coming to pick me up in just a moment and we're gonna go out and do pre-release. All right, here we go. That'll do. Um, upload on YouTube. Yeah, so, right, what have we got? Please be good. Oh, that's really weird. Let's not. It's a mythic. Right, yeah. uh, so, Gold Knight Castigator is my mythic. <laughs> not bad. Yours is pretty fine. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, sweet. That, that can win a lot of games. Especially with the Oh, it seems like they're just they're actually fairly immensely, aren't they? Oh, foil Olivia! <gasps> Very nice. Oh, sweet. Masterpiece. Oh, this one. Thing on the ice. In the ice. In the ice. Why is my rare in the middle of my pack? That's because it's double faced. Ah. <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> oh. Holy crap. Have you? What? Oh, yeah. No, fucking no. Look at the three mythics. What? Triple mythics. Bloody hell, man. What? <laughs> Lots of mythics everywhere. This is, oh, oh my god. I've seen a couple of mythics all over the place. This is mental. Well, not like all from the same pack. So, how come I've got a double rare? Because it's double faced and like, oh, right, okay. double faced is like different because there's one in every pack. Alright. Yeah. Vastly confusing me. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, sweet. This card is awesome. You can just basically. I'll put a lamp from your graveyard and probably a deck so you can't go off. Oh. Or you can just recur something like you or just put to the bottom of the list. Um, just gonna do this. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> put to the ring. I want it. I want it. Oh, sweet. Foil. You got two of the same as one No, 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 no. No, you can't get it unless it's one foil. But, um. Flame Blade Angel. Hmm. See, that's probably my least favorite. I'm already fine with it. I'm new and I'm very nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bit of rats. Oh, I got that season's past thing. It's also got a picnic with gun. It's a good. Gonna play play. What is this? You you got the real money. Yeah. Like this. This is good. I'm a student. I need it. <laughs> this is like three weeks of food here. <laughs> what? what? No. <laughs> what are you on about? At least it's 15 for me. That shit, I'm stuck in this one. It's like 40, 30, yeah. probably 30 or something because it's four hours. Food or a decent night out? You said food first. I know, but That's good. Plus good. priorities. Those are good. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start for a night out. Just the unfried. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
Yeah, I'm taking my time because I'm filming. That's the problem with filming. It takes me a while. And, uh, especially when you're trying to make sure that everything's in focus. <laughs> Is that first card, the black one? Yeah. That one's good, I think. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's great. Ever after. Mm. Ooh, foil rats. Oh, yeah. It's a fine card, eh? Might be playing rats. I really want to play so Skylar, but then, you know, I know it's not there, so it's like double blue or white blue. It's not bad. Oh. I'm quite happy with a red green. So uh, this is the morning after uh, Workington pre-release, really enjoyed it, uh, I only got a chance to video my unpacking. The pool I got wasn't the best in the world but uh, it, it, it was fine, I got a couple of nice rares um, uh, that have helped me get into this deck that you see here before you. Um, I didn't originally start with this deck, it was uh, a red blue uh, and then I played it against someone and it was you know, obviously there were problems. It just wasn't working well. So I changed it to a red-white under the guidance of this guy who helped me out a lot, really appreciated his help. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna give you a guided tour of the deck. So we'll start with our one drops. We've got a Thriving Inspector for one. Uh, it's a one, two, and when it enters the battlefield, investigate. Uh, we've then got a Stern Constable. Uh, it's a one, one, and you can tap and discard a card and tap target creature. Then we've got Sangrary Mage, it's a 1 and 1 red with 1 3 and prowess, fairly standard. Devil Thorn Fox, it's 1 and 1 white, it's a 3 1. Then we've got Wicker Witch, it's a 3 drop and it's a 3 1. Uh, then we've got Pious Evangel, it's 2 and 1 white, uh, it's a 2 2. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, gain one life. And then you can tap 2 and tap it to sacrifice another permanent, and then you transform Pious Evangel, and it becomes a Wayward Disciple. It's a 2-4, whenever Wayward Disciple or another creature you control dies, target opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. Not too bad. Uh, then we've got Bloodman Vampire. It's two and one red. Whenever it deals damage to a player, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. You can cast it for its madness cost, so if you can discard this, you can cast it for its madness cost as at instant speed uh, or just get it cheaper uh, so it's a 4-1 which is great. We've got Dauntless Cathar it's a 2 uh, sorry it's a 3-2 for 2 and 1 white um, when it dies you can exile it from the graveyard for 1 and 1 white and put a 1-1 one -one spirit creature token onto the battlefield um, and you can only activate that as a sorcery speed. <coughs> then we've got Militant Inquisitor it's 2 and 1 white for a 2-3 um, and it gets plus one plus zero for each equipment, but I don't control any equipment. It's literally a body on the board um, So there we go uh, We've got pyre hound uh, It's a uh, Two three for three and one red. It has trample whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell put plus one plus one counter on it uh, Then we've got the um, this is my promo rare. It's gold knight castigator. It's two and one red um, flying in haste four nine However, it has a major downside. Um, if a source would deal damage to you, deals that, that double that damage instead. If a source would deal damage to it, it deals double that damage. So you end up taking a lot of damage, but it's really good when you get the aggressive draw in. It's really, really nice. And then we've got Apothecary Geist. Uh, it's three and one white for a two, three flyer. Uh, and it gains you three life if you control the spirit. Never got this off really, but um, it's a two, three flyer, so it'll do. Uh, Reaper of the Moonlight is three and two white for a three three flyer. Again, three three flyer for five. Uh, and if I sack a creature, I get plus two. I can give um, this plus two plus one 
um, but it's you have to have delirium and delirium's hard to get as well. Um, and then the last uh, creature we've got is Flame Blade Angel. It's a four and two red for a four four with flying. Whenever a source an opponent controls deals damage to you or a permanent you control, you may have it deal one damage to the source's controller. So if they swung in with all their creatures, I'd be like, well, okay, we'll ping you for uh, quite a bit of damage. All right, now for instance, sorceries and enchantments. First, we've got an enchantment, skin invasion, it's one red. Uh, enchanted creature attacks each turn if able. And uh, when enchanted creature dies, return skin invasion to the battlefield, transformed under your control as skin shredder and it's a three four which so that's really good you cast this on your opponents one of your opponent's creatures and then yeah you get um, a heck of a lot of value for it uh, really uh, then we've got lightning axe it's one red instant um, as additional cost uh, you either discard a card or pay five so it can end up costing you six mana or you discard so if you can get a madness, madness enabler going, then it's really good. Um, well, this is a madness enabler. So you cast it, you target, say, Blood Band Vampire uh, to discard, and then you pay two to cast that instead of its three cost. So that's pretty good. Um, deals five damage to creature. Uh, Rush of Adrenaline, one to give a, tree, a creature two, plus two, plus one until end of turn. And trample. Not bad. Uh, Declaration in Stone, it's one and one white, and it's exile target creature and all other creatures uh, controller controls with the same name as that creature. So if they have tokens, this is a blowout, uh, and it only costs two mana, and it exiles them, which is brilliant. So there you go. Uh, always Watching, one and two white. Enchantment, non-token creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and Vigilance. Perfect. Like, really good. This is the reason I ran... Um, red white is for this card when this card's online this deck's fairly uh, brilliant uh, in this um, format so yeah uh, ethereal, guidance, ethereal guidance is two and one white creatures you control get plus two plus one until end of turn it's sorcery speed but it's mass pump so if you're swinging in with all your creatures at the end of play end of a game and your opponent is down then this is fine this is great um Malevolent Whispers is 3 and 1 red. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap it, it gains plus 2 plus 0 and haste until end of turn. So that's really good. You steal a creature, swing in with it, uh, and then they get it back. Uh, and you can cast it through Madness cost. So if you can discard this during your opponent's turn, you can, you know, basically take their biggest creature, their biggest threat, and go, no, that's mine, and it's going to block one of your big creatures, and they can potentially kill each other, or it'll just act as a really good blocker when you're in a jam. Uh, and then the last card is Humble the Brute. It's four and one white. Uh, it's an instant destroy target creature with power four or greater, and investigate. So uh, really good just to get rid of a big presence on the board, and you get some card draw eventually from it because of investigate. So yeah, there you go. That's the deck. Uh, really enjoyed playing this, like I said. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed what i've done here if you um look back over the card and you think i should have done something different let me know you know always good to know all this stuff really enjoyed shadows over in Estrada. it was definitely one of the best uh pre-releases i've ever gone to uh really like the way this set is working it's so diverse and there's so much to do uh, and it's all a lot of fun uh so yeah uh, hit that like button guys, uh, thank you for watching, also subscribe if you'd like to see more videos, I'm going to try and do more of these and be a bit more, um, keep up with it a bit more, but uh, we shall see, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, my name's Dan, you've been watching YouTube Magic, see you next time.